Hello everyone, it is me, hyper-realistic 3D model of Denny here, back with another video. So anyways, uh, I have finally gotten back to German, as the title says. Uh, I think it was 2017 when I made a video about taking a break from German. At the time, I was learning German and Japanese, like, in parallel at the same time. And German was kind of on the back burner. Uh, Japanese was my main focus. And at that point, I just came to realize that it would be more efficient for me to just focus on Japanese and get that to a good level and then get back to German and, you know, learn it properly as my main language. And now I think the time has finally come. I've been learning Japanese for close to seven years. Actually, I might make a Japanese progress video for seven years in January. So look forward to that. I know I skipped. This was the first year when I did not make any Japanese progress videos. The main reason for that, I think, was that I hardly made any progress. And also I thought from, you know, five years to six years on a logarithmic scale, the difference wouldn't be very big. But from five to seven, I think I could probably show a little bit more. Uh, I don't know, because at that point, you wouldn't really notice much of a difference from me speaking, I imagine. But in any way, in any case, I'll, uh, I'll make a, a Japanese progress video for seven years, I think. That would be pretty interesting. And uh, yeah, but German, that's the main topic of this video. So I have this textbook. I probably showed it in my previous two uh, German progress videos. So this is that same textbook that I used to use. And I decided to start it from the beginning again. And I went through all the same lessons. So this has 100 lessons. They're fairly short, but still, there's 100 of them in total. And back then, I had gone through 32 of the lessons. So I decided might as well go through them again and then continue from there. And I have caught up now and I am currently on lesson 40. So today I'm going to get through the 40th lesson. I really like this book. Uh, like I have a lot more perspective now as a language learner. And I really like the way this is laid out. It gives you a dialogue there for every lesson. And that's kind of, that's what you start with. You immediately are given some example of actual German. I mean, it's not like the most natural stuff that you would hear in daily life because they're trying to pack as much useful language into those dialogues, which I think is a good way to do it. You kind of have to have a balance of realistic sentences and actually useful sentences that will gradually teach you new grammar and vocab. So that's what it has here, the dialogues, and then it has these points, like uh, you see the numbers, and the numbers then correspond to these notes at the bottom. And that's where they show the grammar, maybe break down some of the vocab. It has some exercises you can do at the end of each lesson. I really like it. It's like you're kind of getting examples of the language and then breaking it down as you go along. That is, I think, the perfect approach for me. I really believe that you do need a textbook in the beginning of learning a language, or not necessarily a textbook, just some sort of structured approach. And I am still very much a beginner in German, so I think this is perfect. I'm not sure if I'll get any more textbooks after this one. I imagine that this would be enough, and then from there I could just go full on immersion. But yeah, I, I think it's great uh, to start with a textbook or something else. Maybe you like video materials instead, but if there's like a good course that you like, that could work just as well. I just like the textbook format. And I really like the format of this particular one. I am planning to make a German progress video. So the thing is, because I took such a long break and it's kind of wishy-washy uh, with my learning German, I decided to just make it clear that so I studied for a year up to that one year progress video that I made. And then there was another uh, semester I studied German in university. I decided maybe that would be a good motivation for me to get back into German. That was in first year of university. But alas, no, that <laughs> still didn't work out for me because it's just better to focus on one language at a time. So I focused on Japanese and um, I just finished that semester, passed my exam. I actually got a Goethe Zertifikat A2, so A2 level of German. I actually have the certificate, but I mean, that is very low. I really want to be B1 level by this point. This textbook actually says that it gets you to B2 level. Um, I'm not sure 
how accurate that is. I don't really care that much about the levels. I just wanted to share that I have the certificate. I don't think I ever mentioned that on my channel. But yeah, anyway, so there was a year in the beginning, then I took a, about a, a year break, then half a year. And then since then, I hadn't studied almost any German and I got back to it in August of this year. So I am going to count it as the total of all the time that I had actually been studying. But if you disagree, you can disagree. You can say that I studied it for six years because I started in September of 2016. But when I make the progress video, it's going to say German progress after two years, once I actually get to that amount of time. I'm actually pretty excited. Uh, as you could probably tell, I haven't made any language videos in almost two years. I kind of got bored of Japanese uh, while I was in Japan because I was there during the pandemic and it kind of took out the joy. I spent most of my time in my room, so that was a bit disappointing. But um, I did have plenty of good experiences. I'm not actually sure if I ever shared this on my channel, but yeah, that's that. I'm just glad to finally be back to language learning. Japanese, I also do practice a bit. I watch some YouTube videos for practice. Uh, I find that fairly useful. I also have this book I showed in one of my past videos, Nejimaki Dori Kuronikuru by Haruki Murakami. The Wind Up Bird Chronicle is the English name. This is still the first of the three books. I mean, it's one book, but you know, it has three uh, separate actual books uh, in Japanese because Japanese people really like their books to be small like this. I don't get why. I'd rather have one bigger book, but to each their own. Yeah, I've been very slow with this. I think I am just about halfway through this first part. And uh, yeah, I kind of have been reading it on and off. I should really read it a bit more, more quickly, more consistently. There is another book that I'm reading right now, uh, but I'm reading it in Russian. It's uh, Meditations uh, by Marcus Aurelius, I think is how you say that. Fairly boring, I gotta say. Uh, but yeah, anyways, once I finish that, I'll probably start reading this uh, a bit more actively, or at least I'll try to. I also wanted to give a couple shout outs. Some of you would have probably seen uh, this guy Language Simp on YouTube. I find his videos so funny. I started watching him recently and uh, yeah, I highly recommend his videos. Very funny. His recent video on learning Russian was pretty hilarious <laughs> when he was um, trying to say all the different forms of the word din, which means day. That, I don't know, that really cracked me up. <laughs> And another one is a smaller channel called Igirisu. This is a guy, I believe he's from the UK, who also learns Japanese. He gave me a shout out in his video, so here's one right back at you. Uh, thanks. And uh, I guess I'm glad that I was somehow inspirational to some people. I get uh, actually quite a few comments like that. So thank you guys, uh, it means a lot. I'm just glad that I'm able to be helpful in some way, at least to some of you. Um, also one last note, sort of regarding a language learning. I have been learning this other language, JavaScript. <laughs> so I have shared a few times on my channel that I do web development and I am actually a web developer, you know, professionally now. And this is a book that I got in the UK while I was still there. Really good book. If you're learning JavaScript, highly recommend it. I wouldn't say it's for beginners though. Uh, it's more like from intermediate level onwards or like once you already know the basics of JavaScript, this is kind of to go a little bit deeper. It doesn't teach you the language from the ground up. But yeah, I guess uh, I'm just trying to balance everything right now. Learning languages, programming, all that stuff. So yeah, hopefully I'll have some more exciting news in the near future. I'm really looking forward to the Japanese and German progress videos. The, the Japanese one will be first and then eventually once I get to two years with German, I'll make a video about that. Before I go, I'd like to thank my Patreon supporters, uh, William and Minecraft Underground. Actually, those two supporters are tier two supporters, so they get to see all of my videos 48 hours in advance. So yeah, thanks guys for supporting me and uh, thanks to anyone else who decides to become a patron. And this is just a regular reminder that I also have a channel on Odyssey if some of you guys would prefer to watch me on there. So that's about it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. People keep asking if I'm back and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back.